drove through the night, arriving at one of Scotland's most scenic locations. So another uh, sleepless night and I have driven through the night. I left, well, I was up about 1.30, uh, left about 2ish, uh, maybe about 2.30 actually. Uh, anyway, I've just arrived in Glencoe and uh, the forecast looking good for this Saturday morning. There's a full moon, there's been bits of mists about. So I'm just going to head up uh, Bucoletive Beg. Um, and just see if I can get to the summit for sunrise and then head back down. I was thinking of heading up one of the gullies but the uh, avalanche forecast was suggesting quite a bit of wind slab so I have decided to go for a plod instead to try and get to the top of the mountain. So it's now 4.35, get my stuff on and get cracked on up the hill. Let's hope the cloud doesn't come in. <laughs> Let's go. After getting geared up, I headed up the familiar path under a nearly full moon and headed for the Bielach between Stobkeur Redich and Stobdu. Whew. Well, it's now uh, six o'clock and I have reached the Bielach. I've been going for about an hour, but I've been taking my time. Um, and we're starting to get some light behind me, I don't know if you can see over my shoulder there, there's a bit of light over Bucoletiv Moor, but uh, yeah, it's absolutely lovely, there's not a drop of wind here. So I'm going to start heading up over the back of me there, and get to the Munro, hopefully, round about sunrise, I've got about an hour to get there, so I think I'll be pushing it to get to the actual summit for the sun coming up, but I'll be there or thereabouts, so uh, yeah, let's crack on and uh, enjoy this glorious weather. This is absolutely fantastic. I don't know if you can just make it out perhaps in the camera, probably not, but uh, behind Stobcorn Walken, the moon's starting to set. It's, quite, it's not a full moon, but it was a pretty big moon, and soon the sun will be rising over there somewhere, so this is absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to see the sunrise. Anyway, small matter of a mountain to get up behind me, so I need to get cracked on. Let's go. Bucoletive Beg has two Munros, it's got Stobkoer, Rhenich and Stobdu. Stobdu being the higher one at 958 metres and that's where I was headed this morning. Once I'd headed up from the Bielich, I reached a point at 902 metres and the mountain came into view. It was absolutely stunning. Ooh, look at this! Absolutely stunning! Look at it! That's where I'm headed! I was soon on the final sweeping ridge to the summit and it was glorious. The mists were still lingering in the glen and I was feeling confident that I was going to reach the summit for sunrise. So I managed to reach the summit before the sun had risen, which was fantastic. But on reaching the summit, I decided to go a little further to the second cairn because it gives absolutely fantastic views down Glen Etif. Look at that. Woo! Panning around from this viewpoint, I could see that the sun was just about to peek over the horizon, so I quickly set up the camera and managed to catch the sunrise. It was glorious.
Summit Ridge, I've come to the uh, second cairn, I think the first cairn's at the top of uh, Stob Dew on um, Bucolective Beg and the sunrise was fantastic, I, I made it just in time I decided to walk along to this viewpoint because it's slightly better, you can see behind me, you can see down to uh, the lower reaches of Glen Etiv and down Loch Etiv and the, the view over the Bidjin Mass is fantastic and I literally got here, set the camera up and the sun was just rising over Stob Gerrard and the, I can't remember the, other, the name of the other peak there on Bucolative Moor Absolutely fantastic, and I've just been watching all these peaks illuminate one by one. The first one that got the sun was obviously Ben Nevis, and then Bidian got it, and Ben Starav, and further down you can just make out uh, the Kruken range behind as well. But yes, was it worth getting up in the middle of the night, or essentially not having any sleep? Yes it was, <laughs> in my opinion. Others may uh, wish to uh, disagree, but does it get any better than this? This is what it's all about, isn't it? Absolutely superb. So I'm going to sit here, have a bite of breakfast. It's now 7.30 and then I'm going to head back down. I should be home, I don't know, mid morning. And another, another adventure under my belt. Fantastic. Woohoo! After enjoying breakfast with a view to die for, it was soon time to head back down off the mountain and the walk off was equally as good as the walk up. Sweeping ridges, snow capped mountains, mists in the glen, what more could you ask for? What a stunning morning in Glencoe. <laughs> 